Hi there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security and welcome back to our video series called How to Build an IP Surveillance System. In the last two videos, we talked about which surveillance brand is right for you and exactly which products you need for your surveillance system. In today's video, we're going to talk all about installation. Which products do you need for installing your security cameras? How many cables do you need? What types of cables do you need? Do you need any tools? What about junction boxes and camera mounts? We're going to talk about all of this and more right now. Now IP systems are actually pretty simple to set up and install. All we need is to connect our cameras to power and to our network. And the best thing about IP security systems is that this can be accomplished with one singular ethernet cable. One Cat5 ethernet network cable is all you need to connect your camera to the network. And if the other end of that ethernet cable is connected to a power over ethernet switch, then that same cable will provide power to your camera as well. Now all of our NVRs, regardless of the product series, have PoE switches in the back. So all you need to do is connect your security camera to the back of your NVR with an ethernet cable and you're good to go. It really is that easy. But if you're not getting an NVR and you're only getting security cameras, you will need to get a separate PoE switch. Alternatively, if you don't have access to a PoE switch, you can power your camera by connecting it to a 12 volt DC power supply. But PoE switches are pretty easy to come by. We have all kinds of sizes on our website ranging from single channel PoE injectors to full 48 port switches. Another thing to consider here is your length of cable runs. As a general rule, your cable's maximum length when using power over ethernet is about 300 feet. If you need to run cables longer than 300 feet, you can use a PoE extender to boost your signal up to 600 feet. So all that said, for the most part, you really only need one ethernet cable per security camera to properly install your IP surveillance system. But we do have a few different options when it comes to purchasing your cables. First, we have pre-made cables, and this is what we recommend for most users. If you have four security cameras, for instance, simply order four 100-foot pre-made ethernet cables, and they'll be ready to go right out of the box. But we do also carry bulk cable if you prefer to measure and run your own cables. This is for more advanced users, but it's really not as hard as it sounds. And we do have a couple of videos here on our YouTube channel that show you how to crimp your own cable connections. If you do this, you will also need some pass-through RJ45 connectors and a crimping tool. If you do want to try your hand at bulk cabling and you're not quite sure what products to get, we have a full IP cable kit on our website. This comes with a thousand feet of ethernet cable, 100 RJ45 pass-through connectors, a crimping tool, and a cable tester so you always know if your cables are good to go before you get to the installation site. Now let's talk briefly about mounts and junction boxes. Now mounts and junction boxes are completely optional when it comes to installing your cameras. However, there are some instances when a mount or a junction box can come in handy. A camera mount gives you more flexibility when it comes to installation. We have a wide variety of mounts for our vandal domes, turrets, and PTZs from wall mounts to pole mounts to ceiling mounts and so much more. Junction boxes, like mounts, do give you an extra platform to install your camera. However, the main function of a junction box is to hide all of your cables in one place. If you're ever curious about what mounts and junction boxes we have that will fit a particular camera, you can always check that camera's product page. We will have the mounts and junction boxes listed on there as related products. But if you aren't sure whether or not you need a camera mount or junction box, you probably don't. And that's really all you need to know about which products you need to install your IP security system. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video series and you still have any questions at all about picking out the perfect products for your IP surveillance system, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can give us a call or send us an email. Like I say at the end of every video, we really are always happy to help. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us across social media so you never miss another video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.